It's three. I'll take the half, I'll take that. Uh, I'm Joey Recker, I'm a junior at Mount Michael. She has just go me! Just grab that off there. Okay. Ow! Woo-hoo! Stop tall enough. My sister Rachel told me never to write a love poem. I was 14 years old, she told me, don't waste your talent on something that doesn't need to be said. Something that's been said a million different times, in a million different ways, to a million different people. Something that nobody wants to hear, so please, just don't. <laughs> and I said, Rachel, trust me, I know, and you know me too well to know that. But now I am 17, and Rachel has never met you. You, who have shown me nothing but kindness, invited me to your home, shared your secrets. You, who listened to my tall tales, my past regrets, my highest hopes. You, who are constantly telling me you're sorry. But what are you sorry for? What are you afraid of? What could you have possibly ever done wrong to me? You show me your hiding places, I've showed you mine, the bright brick walls of your favorite cafes, jovial musings, sharing laughs. You toss your head back, grin and laugh, the kind that shakes your chest in pure joy, the kind you feel from your toes to your fingertips. In return, I reveal to you my own refuge, my own Eden, a dark secluded fire escape, the one Rachel showed me late one cool August eve. She looked me in the eyes and said, don't go showing this to anybody. I trust you not to spoil it. Her words reverberate in my head as we sit here now, our feet dangling off the edge, the snow glittering against your blonde curls. The western sun reflects off a sleepy winter burned cityscape. But still we wait, patient at each other's thresholds, waiting to be invited in. Times of advent are always blissful. There's joy in waiting. No unseen storms are brewing. There's only hope, open, vulnerable, and optimistic. But maybe that's the problem. Maybe you're saying sorry out of fear. Maybe it's not the fear of me, but the fear of another. I can see the scars left in your soul, certainly not fresh, but not old enough to forget. I know because they're familiar, I'd be lying if I had none of my own. And hoping is scary as hell. And to tell the truth, I'm terrified. We walk blindfolded, dancing in beds of glit glistening crystal needles, a timeless waltz in a field of razors with the purest heart I've ever known as a metronome, slowly keeping time. Falling in love with falling in love with you. Rachel made me promise her I'd never write a love poem, but I just can't help myself. Your awaking dream, celestial zenith made flesh, the inner glow of starlight. You've got the world in your pocket, and every time you smile, I glimpse a universe. So I think this is a love poem. For one who's seen Rachel's garden is worthy of breaking that promise. <laughs>